What's going on everyone? I'm Brian here from South Shore Vape Reviews and I'm back with a video and today I have this super sub -ohm tank. It's called the EcoBoost, uh, I'm sorry, EcoBoost Ford Motor Company, Eco12 by a company called SigPet. Yes, SigPet. So let's get to know the Eco12 right after this. Alright guys, so first of all, I bought this tank at Element Vape. You can find them online. I'll have a link in the description below for Element Vape and other places to where you can buy this tank. Now what this is, is this is a super sub-ohm tank that competes with the Smock TFV-12. Actually, what we're going to do at the end of this video is we are going to compare them and I am going to vape both of them for you, just to show you which one may, might make a better cloud. Now speaking of that, before I get on, let's have a vape. As you guys can see already, this thing will cloud up a room in minutes. So what it is, is SigPet. What SigPet is, is a sister company of the company called iJoy. So this is basically an iJoy product, and it also competes with the iJoy Maxo V12 that came out a while back. But the only thing is, is that the coils are not compatible with one another. But a pro on this is that the coils with this is actually compatible with the Smock TFE 12. That's a plus because as you can see here, it comes with about five different coil options. Only two of them are included though. So what I have in here now is the 0.15 coil. It goes from 60 to 190 watts. Um, it's a single macro coil. It's about that big in diameter. Um, you'll see it in the close up. Uh, but on the close-up, I do got to tell you that I did pre-record it because I had to change the coil out on this thing. It's a 28 millimeter tank. It holds six and a half mils of juice. This thing is a fatty. And the other plus, as you guys can see, that nice blue resin drip chip, it comes with that. So every SigPet Eco 12 that is made and packaged, it comes with a different drip tip. So you don't know what color you're going to get when you order one. I just happen to get this nice blue one, which matches up well with my old school Segeli Fukai 213 or 155, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, man, this thing, the flavor on it's great. Um, very easy to use. Comes completely apart for cleaning. In fact, let me show you how you fill this thing. All you do is you unscrew the top. And look at those fill holes. Pretty huge. You can actually, you can easily use a dropper or a unicorn bottle, but you can even pour your juice in this tank. That's how big it is. And actually, we're going to do that now. I'm going to demonstrate. I'm using it at this old school juice that is one of my first flavors I ever used when I started vaping. It's called Pixie by Time Bomb. It's like a great pixie stick. It's one of my favorites. So yeah, I'm going to get some juice on me, but I will show you guys how you do this. So basically you just bloop, bloop, bloop. Dump your juice in like that. Voila. All right, guys, so the one problem I've only been having with this tank is that the lower gasket right here sometimes can be a little finicky because sometimes when I've poured my juice in in the past, it's actually come out the glass and not the bottom airflow. So that happens. I don't know if it's just mine or if it's another one, but real quick before we go on and I show you the packaging and what it comes with, let me just show you the tank. So here it is up close. Alright, here's your airflow. As you can see with this coil, I have it halfway shut. And as you can see, the airflow is pretty large. See, look at that. 
and there are two airflow slots and what happens on one happens on the other. Ching ching. It is 510 threaded and it has a gold plated contact pin which we'll get to after. But first, let me show you the packaging. This is what it looks like. It has a picture of the tank on the in the front and then it tells you your specs on the back and then it shows you your coil options on the package. Then once you open this bad boy up, you get this SIGPET warranty card. You get a spare coil. It's a 0 .12 and it's 60 to 350 watts. You get this nice spare glass tube, which you're going to need because you might, if you drop this thing, you're going to shatter it. I'll tell you that. And then it comes with a goodie bag. It has a 510 drip tip adapter. It has some O-rings. It also has a, cock, a, a vape band um, to use with this because I think you're going to need one or two. Um, I'm sure we all have vape bands because all it is, as you can see on the tank, as you can see, it, it's just open glass. And if you drop this thing, you might shatter it depending on the angle that it hits. All right, so that's enough of me talking now about the SIGPET. Let's talk about the coils and let's compare it with the TFE-12. We're going to dive down close. I'll show you the coils in comparison with the TFE-12 coils and how similar they are. And then we'll come back up. I'll vape the TFE-12 and I'll vape the SIGPET ECO-12 and we'll have a cloud contest. I'll have a cloud contest with myself. So let's dive down up close. Join me, shall you? What's going on, guys? So here are the coils to the SIGPET ECO-12 and the Smock TFE-12. So as you can see, this is the ECO-12, this is the TFE-12. Very, very similar. And they are both a .15. And the vaping range is 60 to 190 watts on the smock. And then it says best 90 to 160. And then on the SIGPET is also a 0.15 and it says 60 to 180. Very similar. And so here are the T12 coils that I wanted to show you. As you can see, they are nearly identical. Yeah, this one is from the SIGPET and it's pretty much toast. I gotta change the coil out, but this is the Smock TFE-12. And as you can see, everything's pretty much very, very similar. And the vaping range on these are, it's a .12 coil and it is 60 to 350 watts, best 130 to 200. And then SIGPET's version also is a 0.12 and 60 to 350 watts. So as you guys can see, the coils are nearly identical to each other. So let me show you the two tanks. So here is the Smock TFV-12 and the Eco-12. The Smock TFV-12 being on the left and the Eco-12 being on the right. Now as you guys can see, that the Smock TFV-12 is an actual taller tank and the Eco-12 is just a little bit shorter and a little chubbier because let me show you guys something let me show you the bottom now here's the Eco-12 and here's the Smock TFV-12 now as you can see the Smock TFV-12 is about a 25 millimeter tank and the Eco-12 is a 28 millimeter tank. So, as you can see, what the TFE-12, what they did is they used the 25 millimeter base and then they, for the glass piece and to fit the coil in, they barreled it out a little bit to make it 27 millimeters and then, it, as you can see, that it goes back to 25 millimeters at the top. Now, with the SIGPET, all they did was is they made it 20 millimeters all around now they both hold about the same amount of juice but the sig pet looks fatter so that's it with the tanks guys i feel comfortable going back up top vaping on these 
talking about them, having a cloud competition. So join me up top, shall you? All right, everybody, and I am back. And that was the Eco 12 by SigPet being compared with the Smoktia FV12. So, what do I think? Well, with the SigPet, the one con I have is the fact that it leaks if that seal isn't, um, if the glass isn't on that bottom seal right, which is kind of finicky, it will leak out the sides. Now, I don't know if that's just mine or if that's all of them, but mine does that, so I have to mention it. But other than that, the rest of this tank is all pros. Okay, it holds six and a half mils of juice. That's a lot of juice, guys. <laughs> and the other pro I love about this thing is that drip tip, that resin drip tip, guys. Because if you go into a local vape shop, that's going to cost you 20, 20 or 25 bucks or so. It comes free with the tank. And the other nifty thing they do is each packaging, each package comes with a different color drip tip wherever you order from. They're all different, so you never know what you're going to get. I just happen to get this nice blue one. Lots of airflow. Pro. It is compatible with the Smok TFE 12. As you guys saw those coils, they were, they were nearly identical. And the nice thing is, is the SigPet has a couple more options than the TFE 12. Now, I think the TFE 12 now has like a T14 coil. This one has maybe one or two more options that the TFE 12 doesn't make. And also, it has a pretty damn nice RBA section that you can actually put in your TFE 12 or vice versa. You know, I like that. You know, compatibility. You know, because sometimes maybe a SigPet coils could be hard. Not a lot of people might carry this in shops. I haven't seen it in a shop. I've just seen it online. And I thought it was cool. I thought it had a cool name, SigPet. You know, I found it interesting. So I figured, you know what, let me buy the tank. Let me see how she vapes. And she vapes well. Let me show you. All right, guys. So I'm going to do a cloud competition with myself sitting here in this chair. First I'm going to go with the Eco 12. I'm going to blast the cloud. And now we're going to go with the TFE 12. Which cloud do you guys think was bigger? The TFE 12 or the Eco 12? Now personally, I think the TFE 12 was bigger because on the TFE 12, the airflow is slightly larger than it is on the Eco 12. But the positive thing about having a slightly restricted airflow on this Eco 12 is that I get better flavor out of the Eco 12 than I do with the TFE 12. So that about wraps it up. That was my comparison. I recommend this not for someone who's just getting off the icky sticks and just getting into vaping. I think this is way too much for you. I recommend this for somebody more that's intermediate or an advanced vapor that's been vaping for a while that can handle the big vapor. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanna thank you all for watching. You can find me on Instagram at Cell Show, Brian Cell Show Vape Reviews, and you can find me on Facebook at Cell Show Vape Reviews. I will have links to both of my social media sites below. I will also have links to advocacy like I always do. And also, if you're new to this channel and you want to subscribe, I'd kindly appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you get a ding, 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 ding. Well, actually, I won't do that, but every time I upload a video, if you hit that bell notification, you're going to know that I uploaded the video, and you can watch it. Also, share this video. Give me a like. That means a lot, you know. Um, but again, I want to thank you guys for watching my video. And remember, guys, vape on, and have a wonderful day.